Podcast Origins TV. Hello, hello mga kapatatas at mga spectractions. Welcome to another episode of SACC, you know. And um, I was hoping to discuss today about the Kwan, yung communion, ano, basically yung history and yung current practice. But uh, the material I've been researching is so long, ano, so long. Kasi it, it, it gets a bit complicated because there's... There's a lot of rules that's been set forth by the Catholic Church, you know, and um, it's a bit difficult to delve into those things, you know. Uh, and definitely, when when we tackle that subject, maraming mararafol ang feathers, you know. But I guess it depends kung yung ating mga manonood, if our viewers are quite sensitive and how devout they are of the Catholics, you know. However, I would encourage everybody to uh, keep an open mind, you know, and um, do your own research as well, you know. So that is one thing na natutunan ko. Um, now, mind you, I grew up in a Catholic family, you know. My, my parents, uh, my brothers and sisters, and uh, even my aunts, and uncles they they were devout catholic catholics ano, in varying degrees but um, at the same time i was sent to a born again school no not in a catholic school uh, i started in a secular school and then um, i was sent over to a christian school ano, and that uh, that kind of opened my eyes or I should say um, it made me think about things no and um, it um, it made me stop following blindly so basically yun ang uh, magiging healing ko galing sa inyo when we uh, delve into that topic ano um, one of the reasons why people don't really want to discuss religion is because um it's it's very difficult to prove, ano? In any religion, we are basically relying on uh, old texts or books, and the fact that it's been translated over and over, um, it it complicates it more. Because there's always um, there's always the chance of mistranslation. And not only that, ano, maaaring merong, um, merong influence na ine-exert. Ano? So, uh, as of recently, yung King James uh, Bible or King James Version of the, the Bible, ano, um, merong mga findings na, you know, in, at, in some parts of the translation, hindi... Hindi siya ganun ka-accurate, ano? And there were some changes. Basically, they were all ordered by the king himself, ano? Because uh, meron siyang mga bagay-bagay na hindi angkop sa kanyang ideals, basically, is what it is, no? So, so when, when we do discuss that, or when we do uh, tackle that in our channel, uh... I just want to uh, remind you to make your own or do your own research if you're really uh, interested in it. Ano? But uh, at the same time, keep your minds open. No? Um, okay, well, uh, but today we're not we're not going to discuss anything about that kasi marami pa akong kailangang basahin in a yupak. Good luck sa akin kung may oras ako dito sa research na ito. No? But um, since nabanggit natin yan dun sa ating episode yesterday or not yesterday, episode natin noong Monday. By the way, I'll put it on the top right corner kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yan. But we... Nung Monday na yun, ang diniscuss natin is about yung history ng Thanksgiving dito sa Canada. No? And it's somewhat tied doon. Ano? Kasi basically, um, 
when we do communion as a Christian, you know, as a Christian, when we do communion, it's us um, giving our thanks and praise you no, know, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for uh, sacrificing Himself for our sake to save us uh, and um, allow us to go to heaven. You know? So, union, basically, that's what it is. So, anyhow, so, um, we will see. We will see. This is going to be an interesting, uh, interesting topic, you know? um, especially about the, um, the uh, there's a big difference between born again Christians and Catholics when it comes to their belief and practice in the Holy Communion, you know? In particular, yung part ng transubstantiation. Okay, so if that's something very new to you guys, it's something worth looking into. Ano? So, and kung kayo ay Catholic, and hindi nyo alam ang transubstantiation, <laughs> all the more that you better look into it. Ano? So, uh, one thing uh, I have to say is, um, kung meron kayong ginagawa, no? Uh, take the time to find out bakit nyo ginagawa yung bagay mo yun. What's the logic behind it? Um, in my practice as a nurse, uh, laging ganyan, ano? Laging ganyan. I guess, in, in, in practice sa pamumuhay, in the way of living, ano? Um, yan na ang nakasanayan ko na basically yung uh, parang yung scientific um, scientific process no so basically kung merong kang tanong maghahanap ka ng idea and galing dun sa sinimulan mong idea you have to find proof no hahanapan mo ng prueba okay and patunay so eh kailangan evidence based at hindi lang yung um, basta ka lang uh, oy sa tingin ko ito na yung tama so ito na yung sagot <laughs> so it doesn't work doesn't work that way you know? it shouldn't work that way <laughs> maswerte ka kung uh, tumamba ka no? <laughs> well and good but if not right you have to uh find evidence and just like sa ating mga yung mga police o yung nasa mga larangan ng batas ano just the same thing ika nga especially dito sa North America no meron silang sinasabi innocent until proven guilty so same thing uh, kung ikaw ay papasok sa korte ideally you are considered innocent until proven guilty and that's why merong prosesong pinagdadaanan and that's why merong tinatawag na trial no it's mainly because of that okay um kailangan mapatunayan na talagang ikaw nga at walang walang pag-aagam-agam no or walang doubt na tama yung accusation sa iyo which is uh, it's definitely appropriate tamang tama lang din yun and angkop na angkop yun ano? kasi nga hindi naman fair and here's the thing ano? merong mga nangyayaring ganito uh, just recently I came across uh, but it's an old article no really there's a there's a man in Japan no? na he was accused of uh, I believe murder ang kaso niya no and then um, inabot ng what 40 years no bago siya na acquit dahil meron silang bagong natuklasan na ebidensya that proved na hindi siya ang gumawa ng murder na yun no hindi siya ang gumawa ng murder so uh the thing is he was uh, he was actually sentenced to death Pero dahil sa haba ng proseso ng litigation and appeal dito, appeal doon, 
um, eventually napatunayan nila like I said more recent times I can't remember um, how recent it is ano? pero it was relatively recent um, biruin mo imagine that ha naka nag naubos ang 40 years niya ang 40 years ng buhay niya sa kulungan no uh, just because um, mali ang accusation pero at least kumbaga nga parang bitter sweet yung nangyari tawagin bitter sweet kasi siya ay napa napatunayan wala siyang kasalanan no eventually napatunayan wala siyang kasalanan however na ubus na ang 40 years of his life ano and uh, the only person really na lumalaban para sa kanya at that point is yung kapatid niya babae okay so yung kapatid niya babae yun lang ang natitira and pow patay ang backline kahit meron pang swallow sinwalo niya lahat yung kanya <laughs> okay sorry na distract ako doon Okay, anyway um, And I forgot his name no? I'm very sorry I'm just pulling this out uh, of uh, Out of memory And uh, I can't exactly remember Yung uh, specific details Ng pangalan and what not so, no? But in any case um, So lumaya siya no? Lumaya siya But yun lang Like I said Nasaya yung 40 years ng buhay na doon So Again, the point of the matter is Um, kailangan alamin niyo yung katotohanan wag lang kayo sumunod na uh, hindi nag-iisip ano that, that's the worst thing that you can do that's the worst thing that you can do ang sumunod kayo sa isang bagay na hindi kayo nag-iisip kasi ika nga eh baka mamaya eh Juan um, ikaw ay parang tupa No? or sabihin na natin ikaw ay parang mamoy na hinahatak ka na no? para katayin and ikaw tuwan-tuwa ka pang susunod hindi ka man lang nag-iisip na uy parang uh, <laughs> pumasok ka na sa slaughterhouse wow parang mga bangkay na <laughs> ng mga baboy yung uh, nakasabit na yun sa paligid ko <laughs> pero ikaw eh kung ano no Uh, easy-easy ka pa rin at tuwan-tuwa ka pa rin wala ka pa rin kamuhang-muhang ano. so uh, so uh, be be how should I put this be alert be judicious ano? um, and that's one thing na isang bagay na tinuturo sa kwan sa self-defense din ano? is uh, yung, yung situational and uh, spatial awareness ano right it's not enough para ikaw ay lumaban lang ano uh, marunong kang lumaban pero the thing is uh, kailangan meron kang situational awareness and i guess you know what i apply natin yan dito sa paglalaro ng aksi no so um, hindi ka pwedeng tira lang ng tira no basta meron kang energy and meron kang panira sige tira ng tira so you have to have to some degree you have to have some spatial uh, uh, or situational awareness not spatial awareness in this case ano? situational awareness ang kailangan mo no? and um, you know you will at the very least try to anticipate ano? kung anong gagawin ng kalaban mo for you to win or for you to lose ano? so um, now that said medyo lumayo-layo na at kung saan-saan na napunta yung ating pinag-uusapan but the thing is it's all intertwined and it's all interrelated kasi ano yung mga bagay-bagay yan so um, if there's anything you will take away from this episode is yun lang ano um, huwag kayo basta-basta maniniwala especially ngayon sa internet oh my god nagkalat ang mga <laughs> kung ano-anong misinformation dyan ano Uh, just uh, just recently ano kagaya ng na uh, one um, lately no dahil uh, in a way mabuti yung ganitong meron ng internet and especially yung YouTube ano now lately na aliw ako manood ng mga travel vlogs 
in particular is yung mga travel blogs ng mga tao na hindi Chinese pero pupunta sila ng China no and then pinapakita nila kung ano yung tunay na China now napaka sama kasi ng image na binigay ng uh, ng Amerika ha? ng Amerika sa China no and ang masama dito here's the thing ano ang masama dito dahil sa influensya ng mga Amerikano right sa buong mundo Marami sa mga tao, hindi sila nag-iisip, hindi sila nagkukuan, nag-investigate and basta na lang silang naniniwala kung anong sinasabi ng Amerika. Porque ang Amerika eh, one, eh, democratic country and syempre nandyan yung image na goody to shoes ang Amerika. Pero kung tutusin nyo, if you, if you live here no, and makikita nyo kung ano yung tunay na hitsura ng Amerika, Oh my God, that is the farthest thing from the truth. Ang katunayan yan, not all of America, no? but pretty much yung leadership ng America, they, they are, what? they are evil, no? They are evil. And, um, kagaya niyan, sinisiraan nila ng sinisiraan ng China, pero yung mga vloggers na, na nagpapalabas sa YouTube na sila ay mga independent vloggers, ano, pinapakita nila kung gaano kaganda ang kalagayan ng China ngayon, kamusta yung development ng China ngayon, lalo na yung accusation, I think it was 2020 nung lumabas yung accusation na um, ano daw, uh, gene-genocide daw ng government ng China yung, uh, yung mga tao sa province ng Xinjiang. So, that was one of the biggest issue and accusation from the US na obviously napabulaanan. Okay, napabulaanan yan and it's a total bullcrap, no? Okay, so, anyway. Um... We'll touch on that topic again next time kasi uh, we're coming to a close here and uh, I hope nag-enjoy kayo dito sa ating uh, show ngayon ni Spectrax at uh, maybe hopefully naging interesting sa inyo yung topic na pinag-uusapan natin ngayon but this is just a primer of what's about to come ano? like I said I still need to do some research about it and um, I, I I'm I'm trying my best not to give you any misinformation. Ano? Now, kung kayo natuwa, please go ahead and hit that like button and maybe share this video. E kung kayo naman nagpago, make sure you check out our other videos. Check the description down below. We have so many playlists dyan, ano? And um, then hit subscribe. Okay? Walang mawawala sa inyo. And matutuwa ako sa inyo. Alright? So with that, I will see you in the next battle.